Your problem is that you use intellectualization as a defense mechanism. So you feel like you're busy doing something, but you're really just procrastinating. But it feels productive. It feels productive to worry. There's someone in my rapid recovery group right now. I'm working with her on this topic because she's still not taking action, but she posts every day to show me how she didn't do it, which I've never had somebody like (laughs) always post every day to show me her journal of eating sugar. And I'm like, okay. So, so I congratulate her on that's the part of her that's aligned with getting better. Right. But she always has a philosophical question rather than taking action. And the very smart people are good at this. And, and so you, you're stuck with this part of you that you're really smart. So you're really good at intellectualizing. And so, you know, I asked her what's getting in your way. Do you think, and she created a five part theory about the different levels of motivation. And I went, no, <laughs> your problem is that you use intellectualization as a defense mechanism. So you feel like you're busy doing something, but you're really just procrastinating. But it feels productive, yeah. feels, feels very. Productive. So worrying and worrying and worrying will wear you out every time versus just yeah. doing, doing and doing, which yeah. works. Right. So with her, that's what I'm working on. And we're working on it every day because the shift up here is, is harder. Like she thinks it's the eating that's hard. I said, no, it's not. The eating is simple. It's the decision to do the eating that's hard. And so you're kind of in that realm right now. Of, yes. Yes. I call it's kind of like mental masturbation, right? It feels good. It feels, <laughs> it feels productive. Like, Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about this. I'm Googling this. I'm watching the YouTube yeah. channel. So obviously I'm learning, but yeah. then I'm going to eat my cookie. Yeah. Right. So, so this is going to be the big thing for you would be, you have to break out of the thinking realm and go into the action realm. And it's going to be really uncomfortable because you're not used to being there. Yeah. You're not used to that realm of just action, action, action. Right. Um, And you might want to consider the group because that's literally what we do every day is what is your game plan to take action tomorrow on the things that you missed today? Not how do you feel about it? Like what's the actual game plan? I talk about the feelings separately, but yeah. sometimes people's game plan will be like, I didn't meet plan today because I didn't get all my water in game plan. Try harder. Like, no, that's how you beat yourself up emotionally is you say try harder. Yeah. And then the next day when you don't do it, you go, I tried my best and I failed. I suck. No, that's not an acceptable game plan. Game plan has to be, I will start drinking water at, you know, before I have my breakfast in the morning, I will carry a gallon jug with me, like concrete, specific yeah. games or game plans, because that's how you start changing your life. Not with right. all the theories and the thoughts, but with yeah. just planning. And then what you do is you set a plan for tomorrow because you'll start tomorrow. You'll set a plan for tomorrow. Here's how I'm going to get all the food in. And whatever doesn't go right, it doesn't mean you're a bad person or a failure. Whatever doesn't go right, you just make a game plan for the next day. Oh, well, I, I ended up eating a cookie in the afternoon because I got hungry and I didn't have any veggies with me. So tomorrow I will bring chopped up veggies with me as a snack. Yeah. Game plan yeah. specific. If you get into plan, if you get into game plan and action, you're going to actually have a lot of relief because this is torture up here because you're, you're, I mean, you feel the anxiety and then you're watching stuff and Googling stuff, which increases the anxiety. And then you don't take action, which then makes it worse. Yeah. And you stay sick. You'll be the most well-informed sick person out there. Yeah.